As we continue to send our most heartfelt prayers to President Jimmy Carter and his family, this morning we're hearing from the man who spent decades cutting the former president's hair. Jerry Carnes went to the barbershop Carter first visited long before he left Georgia for the White House. Soapies in downtown Americas is not like most barbershops. There aren't that many places in the world where you can get a haircut and buy produce in the same place. At Soapies, you can also sit in a chair, once occupied by a U.S. president. Somebody want, act like they want to see him, I says, come in here, I got President Carter in here getting his hair cut. <laughs> He laughed. James Soapy Herndon opened his barbershop in 1960. Among his first customers was a peanut farmer from nearby Plains. That customer went from farmer to state senator to governor to president. Every time you saw him, he was just plain old Jimmy Carter. You know what I'm talking about. You know, he didn't, he didn't try, try that like he was big shot. For more than 50 years, Soapy Herndon counted the 39th president of the United States among his customers. The last time the two saw each other was in 2015, the year Jimmy Carter was diagnosed with brain cancer. When he got sick, he told me that he's going to miss me. He's going to start getting his haircut there and right at home, you know, and I, I could understand that, you know. That was seven years ago. Now more than ever, Soapy Herndon is missing the customer who became a friend. When he opened in 1960, there were more than a dozen barber shops in downtown Americas. Soapy is all that's left now. He's a survivor, just like Jimmy Carter. He is tough. Good God, he's tough. You can count Soapy Herndon among those who aren't ready to say goodbye. We were good, good friends. He'd rather reminisce about the customer and friend who just happened to be president of the United States. In America's Jerry Carnes, 11 Alive News. To get the very latest on President Carter's health and read much more about his life and legacy during his presidency and beyond, go to 11alive.com.